Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at some UI. So UI is also referred to as GUI or HUD. HUD. It could be either of these things, any of those things, but it's all the same thing. So what is it exactly? Well, if we go to Game Object and then go down here to UI, and let's select the first one in the list, text. It will create two extra game objects as well, one being the canvas and one being an event system. The event system doesn't really matter too much because you can pretty much create an entire game without ever even touching the event system, but it's something that you can get into in more advanced tutorials. Let's take a look at the canvas first off. What is the canvas? Well, it is a way of actually containing all of these UI elements. And if we double click the canvas, we can see it's dictated by this white box here. Everything inside of it is visible on the screen. Anything outside of it will not be visible on the screen at all. So to put that into perspective, let's take this text here. Now let's change this text to say, this is my text and let's select the rec tool to make it uh, a little bit bigger maybe. So we could bring it like that. Uh, let's make the font size, let's say, I don't know, 30 and font you could change the font if you want to font style you could change to bold if you wanted to italic whatever uh, you've obviously got the usual alignments uh, the wrap and you know if you wanted to overflow whatever and you've also got the color so generally text is as you would normally expect to change things so we can see this is our text however if we press play now we won't see it on our screen we just see this hmm, fair enough so how do we get this on the screen? Well, we can see here, we have this little icon here, and this is called an anchor. We can select certain positions on the screen that we would want items to appear. So we've got top left, top center, top right, uh, middle left, center, middle right, you know, you've got all them. You've also got the stretch ones here. Something like text won't really matter too much, but let's have this set as the bottom right. It won't change here, but we do need to change everything within the transform. So if we select zero and zero, it will disappear from this screen right here. However, double click and we can see it right there. We can then use that rec tool to kind of move it into position, let's say about there. And you can see as I'm doing that, there is a blue line across the screen going upwards. That is telling us that we are dead center of where we need to be in the screen. So if we press play now, we should see this is my text in the bottom center of our screen. There we are. Excellent. That's what I'm happy to see. So it's not just text that you can do that with. Let's go to game object. Let's go to UI and let's try a raw image. Now a raw image, we can attach a texture to it. Now we did say a couple of tutorials ago within this short series that textures aren't applied directly to game objects. In the case of a raw image, that is the one exception because it doesn't actually need to be a material. You can attach a material, but you may as well just attach texture. And there you go. So let's set this anchoring to, I don't know, top right. Let's set zero, zero, and let's double click on that raw image. And we can just move it into position there. And if we press play now, that should appear at the top as well as this is my text. So all aspects of UI are pretty much the same. There's not too much difference between them. They all work the same kind of way. If we select something like a button, we have the button created. Let's have this center already set. So zero, zero. And if we press play, there we go. The button is right there for us in the middle of the screen. So remember this canvas overlays whatever we see on top. So if we were to turn the canvas off, all of the UI elements would disappear. Back on, they all reappear. A UI element can only exist within the canvas like this, as we see it now. If we were to move the text out of the canvas, it would disappear. Back in, it would reappear. So remember, something like this has to be inside the canvas. So it's up to you what kind of UI elements you want to create, but never be afraid to kind of work with things. Something like a panel, if you press play, you can see here that the panel will cover the entire screen. It literally does look like a panel. However, we can no longer click that button. The reason being is that the order of the canvas, all this UI, is dictated by its order within the hierarchy. So if we bring the panel to the top, then press play, 
we can see that everything that we have now can be used. So this is clearer because it's not behind the panel. And this button is clickable because it's also not behind the panel. You just have to keep that in mind. Finally, you can also create different effects with using UI. For example, if we go to UI and go to raw image, we could select stretch right here and then zero out everything in the transform. And let's change it to black. And we would literally have a complete black screen. And remember what I said about the order of things? If we change the order, we would have that button on top. Simple. So like I said, UI is remembering the order of things, what it can be used for, and different ways you can do it. You can even animate things. You can even animate this black raw image to be a fade screen if you wanted to. So understanding UI can be difficult, but you just have to kind of persevere with it and experiment and see what kind of things you can create. So you can create weird effects at times with UI. For example, if I turn off that raw image, go to our text and press play, I'm going to rotate the text on the X axis. And you can see it looks like it's actually shrinking. Now that's a strange effect that you can have, but in reality, if we go to our scene view and take a look here, we can see that it's not actually shrinking, it's actually rotating. So that is an effect that you can create simply with UI. So guys, I hope that's helped a little bit with how UI works, how you can create it and what you can do with it. If you want to know any more, please leave a comment below and don't forget, hit subscribe, click the bell icon and stay up to date with all the content I have on this channel because there are hundreds and hundreds of tutorials for you to learn, guys. There's just an immense amount of content. With that in mind, I will see you around, guys.